Hi everybody, we've just had some exciting news from NetDuma with the announcement of the upcoming release of the NetDuma R2 gaming router. So you're probably thinking, whoa, whoa, what, what, what is this? A, a router's a router, is it? No, 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 no. NetDuma routers are very special things. I've got the NetDuma R1 and I've had it for oh, several years now. Um, but the, the R1 is getting a little bit long in the tooth. As you can see, this is a picture of it um, underneath my old uh, Virgin Media box there. So, you know, it looked very kind of last generation of, of routers. And so they're bringing out the R2. But what's special about NetDoomers isn't the box, not what it looks like. It's all to do with the software that they load onto their routers, um, Duma OS. And this is kind of a, a quick look at the dashboard to give you a simple idea. So, so what is special about the Duma OS combined with their with their router? It's all about reducing lag in your multiplayer games, in your competitive shooter games, especially games like Call of Duty. So. When, when you're playing a game like Call of Duty or any multiplayer game, um, it'll either be based on dedicated servers like Battlefield and PUBG tend to be, um, or you may well have something called a peer-to-peer -peer network, where it will what, like what one say you're playing on PlayStation, one PlayStation will be like the um, will, will be the host, and then the other PlayStations uh, that who are also playing the game will then will then talk to that PlayStation, or it could well have a dedicated host. The problem with multiplayer games, and you'll have come come across this, is that you'll get into a gunfight where you're looking at someone, they're looking at you, you both seem to fire at the same time, and yet they win. Why does that happen? Well, the reason why that happens is the information from their computer or their Xbox or their PlayStation saying, I've just fired my gun at, at the other person, gets to the host computer, whether that be a peer host or whether it be a dedicated server, before your information does. And therefore, you then lose that gunfight. And it's all to do with with geography, you know. So on this map here, say of, of the UK, say 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 I'm down on the south coast here, where where the Lara is. Say I, I, well, I, that's where I am. If I get into a game of Call of Duty where the host is in Eastern Europe somewhere, say East Germany, well not East Germany, but you know where East Germany would have been over here, then and everybody else who is playing is in Germany, I am at a big big disadvantage. So what you can do with NetDuma is you can actually put a circle around where you are and say, I don't want to connect to any hosts, so any games that are further away than this. And or you can also say that have a larger ping, that, so that have that are slower anyway. So you're putting a geographic fence or and a ping fence, so a latency fence around your game saying, I don't want to play any games where the latency is going to be more than say 100 milliseconds and the difference you find is astounding honestly it can be especially with games like call of duty it's like flicking a switch all of a sudden your bullets seem to be hitting more you win more gunfights you seem to be more accurate you know um and it makes a big big difference so that's what's special about the net doomers. It's about the software they put on. Now, I'm very much simplifying, you know, what they do because there's lots of other features they have as well. They not only have um, geofencing, but they're also capable of um, of uh, farming. Well, controlling the bandwidth in your local network, so you can say, you know, give give my local uh, com gaming computer fifty percent of the available bandwidth, <laughs> and give you know the kids only like 25 percent you know so that you can make sure you've always got got enough bandwidth so anyway so the net doomer r2 is coming out like this sexy thing so let's um have a quick look at the video that they've done and then we'll look through the specs
you go, Call of Duty. There's congestion controlling. Sexy. Now the Net Duma team, they're pretty small, dedicated British team. Um, so let's have a look at the specs. So, so description, with the mission of crushing your lag and congestion, the R2 is designed to ensure the best connection for your online gaming. The missing part of your setup, the R2 priorities gaming traffic while still ensuring a stable connection for the rest of your network. Created by gamers to be the competitive edge in your setup, the R2 liberates you from lag and lets you play free from interference. By choosing the R2, you choose control over your connections, network protection, priority traffic and devices, and more. The R2 is the latest in NetDoomer's bloodline, built for Duma OS 3.0 from day one and to support upcoming Duma OS features first. With bleeding edge in-house design alongside unprecedented features and unparalleled support, the R2 is the last word in network control. There it is, tech specs. So it's dual band gigabit, 802.11. Um, Wi-Fi range large home, dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, four external detachable antennas, ethernet port five, one USB three. Yeah, great, <laughs> loads of good stuff. Um, and what we've got, order FAQs. When will my router be dispatched? Your note R2 will be dispatched on the 6th of August 2020. Delivered with DHL and you take one to two working days. Do you sell to my country? Okay, so that's good. Right, brilliant. And of course, the price. So £130 launch discount. Um, so, you know, we're not talking a cheap piece of kit here. But, I mean, I've had my... When did I do that review? So I did that review for the R1 five years ago, almost, in in November t um, 2015. So the R1, you know, it's it's it stood me in good stead. Um, and, um, as I say, for games like Call of Duty, especially any multiplayer game which has peer-to-peer -peer games, um, and even some of the ones with... Um, dedicated servers because you can you can say look I'm in I'm in the UK don't connect me to a dedicated server in Germany <laughs> you know because I'm going to have a have a bad time or I tell you the thing is you don't always know you're having a bad time till you start using something like the the, the, the net doomer and then all of a sudden multiplayer gaming becomes so so much better um, so yeah, very exciting. Um, will I be buying one before launch? I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it because at the moment, to be honest, I'm fairly happy with my R1. I guess it's getting a bit long tooth, and it won't be able to um, install some of these new Duma OS um, features. Um, but you know, I'm very excited that they've uh, they've announced this and uh, rock on that Duma. Good company making good products that you know really they make more difference to your gameplay than something like you know a, a specialist gamepad. Or a new monitor, or something like that. You know, actually, the physical network connection you use to connect to, you know, the game you're playing is really the most important thing, and that's what NetDoomer gives you. So, yeah, very, very excited. Anyway, that's enough for me. Put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon. <laughs>